all right welcome back boys and girls ladies and gentlemen in today's video i'm going to be going over how to make in today's video i'm going to be going over how to make a simple procedural uh skin texture all right so i have or i have been having troubles coming up with uh video ideas for you guys so if you're watching this video and you have something you want to know, do well to leave a comment in the comment section just to let me know what it is that you want to see on this channel. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Now this is the skin texture we're going to be creating. It is pretty detailed. All right. Now let me show you the node setup. All right, so this is it. Not anything too complex, but it gets the job done with a reasonable amount of details. All right, so I'm going to make this window slightly bigger. And I'll just zoom in so we can see what we're doing while we go about. And let's go ahead and delete everything here. And let me work from the beginning. All right, so new material. Okay. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to have a feel of what the skin color should be. So I generally enjoy making uh, darker skin tones, but you can make your skin tones lighter if you wish. So let's go ahead and create a color ramp node. All right, now this step is very important for this skin texture. So we want to select this part because this is what will define the basic color of the skin. Let's hit Control Shift to view it. So select something uh, in the brown regions. And let's go ahead and add another one. And this one, we want to give it a sort of different color. You know, to add some variation to how the skin would actually be. So let's add another one. And for this one, we want to add uh, a greenish tone. Let's add another one. And with this, we'll bring it back to brown. And we'll make this one brown as well. Okay, so we have something that looks like this. All right, now we can go ahead and play with this color because we have all the variation we want. So let's go ahead and hit Shift A and search for RGB curve. And let's add the curve in. Let's go ahead and play with the color until we get what we want. Okay, this brown looks good. All right, now, now we have uh, the basic skin color. So let's move this out and let's go ahead and create some more variation. All right, let's hit Shift A and search for a noise texture. Let's add noise. And go ahead and add another color ramp. Now let's plug the factor into the factor. And let's hit control shift to view this guy. All right. So let's just bump up the scale. So it isn't that noticeable. Something around 80. All right. That looks good or maybe 90 so it's a lot then we can go ahead and change the colors on the color node on the color ramp brother so for this first color i want something pretty extreme right we want extreme colors here so let's add another one and this will make a darker brown 
and this white will leave around here okay now we're going to simply hold control shift and right mouse drag and mix these two together now let's go ahead and change this to add okay, you can see that adds some variation spots to uh color ramp now we can go ahead and change this so it isn't as obvious maybe 0 0.05 so we have some variation but it isn't uh, as obvious All right so we can plug this now into the color and we can view this okay this is looking nice already but now to add some bump this is where uh, we really explore uh, most of what the skin actually has so this is a complex not too complex but something you should pay attention to so let's select this guys move them out and let's i will go through this as quickly as i can but try to keep up so let's go ahead and add a noise texture And let's hit Ctrl T to add mapping functions. And we want to offset the scale for just these two. So about two, yeah. And let's go ahead and change the scale for the noise texture to about something pretty large like 180 all right now let's view this as you can see it adds this grainy effect let's go ahead and add our color ramp all right so we want to bring this value up and bring this value down so they are just very close to each other Okay, it's really close. Okay, this is nice. Then we're going to add a Voronoi texture. So let's hit Shift A. And let's add it in. And let's change this to distance to edge. Let's duplicate our color ramp plug the distance into the factor and for this one we want we want this effect something very close but not too sharp but sharp enough so <clears throat> for the final uh, thing in the bump we just duplicate our noise texture because one thing with the skin is it has a lot of variation. So we want to create as much as possible procedurally so we don't have to paint that in. So let's go ahead and hit Control T to add mapping for this again. So now let's add another color ramp. Let's plug the factor into the factor. Or let's, you know, let's do the color. Plug the color into the factor and let's move this out. So about here let's make this gradient nice okay all right now let's get to mixing these guys together now let's hit Control shift and mix these guys let's set this to multiply let's hit Control shift with these guys and let's set that to add. All right. Now, one thing I noticed is our very nice texture. We forgot to scale it. That's why we have these large cracks. So let's just go with something large, like 200. All right. And it is barely noticeable. 
okay so that is it let's go ahead and add bump plug this in make sure it's not the height make sure it's the height rather not the normal and let's plug the normal oh wow blender <laughs> decided to crash on me let's give it some time all right now let's plug the normal into the normal let me take go into solid view to avoid anything we haven't planned for all right i think everything looks good uh, let's go ahead and add a subsurface all right since this is a dark skin tone uh subsurface should be darker so something like this should be good and for subsurface we want to add something little since this is for ev so let's increase this to 0 .0, well, uh, 0.012 should work for this let's hit Control shift Let's go into material preview and view this. Give it some time. Give it a bit. Come on. Wow, it's taking longer than I expected. All right. Now you can see the bump is evidently too much. So we can just take the strength way down. Something around point zero five or point zero eight. And this just looks nice. All right. So you can play around with all these settings uh, to see what you'd like to see what you prefer. And I hope this tutorial is helpful guys, because most of you don't enjoy texture painting. So this is an easy way for you to procedurally create a simple skin texture and just uh, drop down to the model and the model will be all complete basically. And you can go ahead and add some variation if you decide to texture paint. But this is a base that is pretty uh, amazing. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, do well to leave a like consider subscribing if this was helpful because we will bring i will bring more videos like this on this channel and i hope this tutorial was helpful guys thanks for watching have a nice day